So as usual with these vlogs that I do uh, from time to time, I'm just going to let the webcam run and I'm just going to run through everything that's going through my mind. But here it goes. Jesus Christ, I have more zits than usual. So it's the end of 2016. It is December 31st. It is now noon. It's hot noon. And the year is about to end in about 12 hours. I know, I know, it's, again, one of those videos that people make like, Her dirt, it's the end of the year, we gotta do a recap of the whole thing. And a lot of you are probably tired of seeing that shit, and you probably don't care, because you just, you're actually here just to see some more Super Mario Maker videos, maybe some other videos I do. Uh, but that's too goddamn bad, I'm still doing one of these videos. I mean, if you don't like these, you just stop watching. It's as easy as that. At the beginning of this year, we had like... We were what? Like a thousand. Between 1,000 and 2,000 subscribers. Like probably closer to 1,000 subscriber. And this year, we've grown a lot. We've grown to more than 15 times that number. We're at 15,000 something right now. I don't know the exact number. I could probably bring it up. Okay, there it is. Wow. We got 20 subscribers overnight. Okay, so this is my live count right now. 15,516 as said by livecounts.net. That is what it says, which is pretty close to the number I saw yesterday, so I'm just gonna believe it. That is not a small amount of number of subscribers I got in the year 2016. That is over 14,000 subscribers. 14,000 of you have decided to click on that red button that says subscribe on it because you wanted to see more of what this channel has to offer. My goal for this year was to reach 10,000. We blew that goal right out of the water. Like we took a gun, we shot the water and whatever, like 14,000 subscribers just jumped out of the water after we shot that gun. I don't know why I used that analogy, but we're just gonna go with it. Seeing that number hit 15,000 recently, that's crazy. That is no, that is no less crazy than when we had hit 10,000 before I even knew it. We had jumped from like 8,000 to like 11,000 in a short month. That's crazy. So that is of course the biggest accomplishment that I've seen in my life, really. Like, it, it was my goal to reach 10,000 and we blew it by 50%. That's crazy. It is my lo long life dream to... That is not true. It is not my long life dream. But it is currently my dream to become a full-time YouTuber and streamer. And we're just that much closer to it now. Because the sooner I do that, the more videos I can pump out. And seeing that subscriber count go up. Seeing as how many of you enjoy seeing that video, those videos. It's very encouraging. It's super encouraging. And I owe every single one of you watching this video and all my Super Mario Maker videos and any video I put out. I owe a lot of that to you guys. It's not me, it's you guys. That's why I mean it every time I say it. It's not me who's doing all this work. Like, yes, I'm doing the work, but it's not... How do I explain that? I'll just say it the same way I said every other time. It's you guys who are making this channel. I may be making the videos, but you guys are making this channel. I have a lot of fun making videos, but without anyone to watch it, it's very discouraging. I would see very little reason to do it, because for me it also means that no one seems to enjoy what I do, so why bother doing it? I want to be an entertainer. I want to be someone who makes people laugh who makes people smile for whatever reason, whether it's because I'm being dumb as shit on my videos, or like before when I was doing my Zero Motivations, I was trying to make people laugh through comedy. I may not be the best at it, but you know, if I can do my part, then I'm happy. So yeah, I mean it every time I say it. You guys make this channel. And I sincerely thank you from the bottom of my heart. So to end 2016, I'm gonna do a sort of mini zero motivation, I guess you could say, but not with the fancy editing and anything like that, because I don't have the time for it right now, but basically there's this whole idea going through the internet saying like, oh, 2016 was the worst year ever because uh, not to, not to say, not to downplay all of the deaths that we have seen this year with all the celebrities that we have seen pass away uh, and hope that they, you know, uh, go to a better place and that they can their souls can rest in peace but a lot of people have found a lot of reason to find 2016 depressing uh i mean even i have a lot of things that happened to me this year honestly speaking like it was like wow a lot of shit has happened and you know there's 
not not that there's nothing to be happy about, but it's just like, wow, a lot of it had to happen in the 365 days, the last 365 days of my life. But you know, despite all of those depressing things that's happened, which I can enumerate if you really want to, at the beginning of the year, I didn't have a job. I was living off of employment insurance, and at some point, it cut earlier than I thought. So I was panicking because I was pretty much in debt at the time, and I had to find a job, which was frightening as hell because... I didn't know what the hell I was doing, um, I didn't know if I wanted to be a programmer again, and so finding a programming job was really scary. And as scared shitless as I was, I found a job. Like, really quickly, like, three days after or something, I don't remember. It, like, I remember how it happened, but I don't remember exactly how long I looked for, maybe it was a week or something. They basically asked me to make Pac-Man, they asked me to make Pac-Man in three days, and for me at the time, I was like, uh, how do you do that in three days? But I did something that looked like Pac-Man for the most part, it wasn't exactly, it was still broken a little, but yeah, I did it, and I got the job. I was like, who the hell would hire me based on what I did? But they did, and I don't think either of us regret that happening. I really, really enjoy doing what I do at work, and they seem to value me being there, having been there at the beginning, especially on the new project that we had. So that was one good thing that came out of a bad thing. Then, of course, there was the point where I was hitting 5,000 subscribers about exactly halfway through the year, actually, on like June 30th. But then, of course, we had that huge thing where YouTube decided to unsubscribe randomly a bunch of you, and I lost like hundreds of subscribers, something like 200, if I remember correctly, which, you know, I was ready to celebrate hitting 5,000, and then that... That was just gone. That was gone. I had to wait a few more days, which, I mean, isn't a big deal, technically, sort of. But, like, at the same time, it was very wor worrying because we were just randomly losing some of you. And it was like, what's happening? Is Am I going to wake up tomorrow and I lose, like, I don't know, 5,000 of them? Anyway, that didn't happen. We did reach 5,000. And it just helped solidify that those who wanted to stay, stay. And those who wanted to see more came back and subscribed, which was awesome. Then... I won't go into the details, but we had a lot of trouble at home. If you guys were watching my videos back in August, you could you could tell that I was talking a lot about it, but I wasn't really giving details, and I still won't because it's on a sort of I guess personal level that on some with something that I don't really want to talk about. But basically, there were a lot of there was a huge thing I had to deal with at home, and I had to clean up a lot and it was just a gigantic mess, like literally a mess. But on the bright side, that means things were being cleaned up. Things, uh, some problems got solved that were being ignored for the most part, but they were getting solved. And that's another good thing that came out of a bad thing. It forced me to solve a problem that I was just sort of ignoring, and it helped me grow even further on a personal level. And then after that, there was a passing of a family member. Uh, my grandfather on my mother's side had passed away, and... Sorry to get depressing, uh, but it was just a thing that had happened, on, and it was... It was an interesting experience, to say the least. I didn't talk much with him, uh, for many different reasons that I won't go into, but... Uh, it brought the family back together at least in a way that, you know, we all got to see each other again, mother's side or my father's side, doesn't matter. We all got to see each other again and just sort of, we got to see how each other grew because there's a lot of us, we don't really talk. We don't talk much. Uh, it's really weird seeing my, I still remember seeing my cousins and they're like, you know, they were, they were a lot younger and now I see them pretty much at my height, and I'm like, whoa, like, we're not that different anymore. We're, we're all adults now, and that's crazy. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to stay on that depressing topic, but basically, it was cool to see the rest of the family again, despite being on a depressing event, I guess, but that is life. That is a part of life, and I guess it just kind of shook me back to that reality for a bit. Then, of course, towards the end of the year, some of you, very few of you, but that's fine, but I did do some live streams. Uh, I did a Super Meat Boy live stream, and then I did also some Overwatch live streams, uh, which, by the way, uh, I guess this is a very pseudo announcement that I'm going to be live streaming on Twitch instead of YouTube, because Twitch just feels like an easier platform to live stream on. 
Uh, YouTube likes to make things a little bit more complicated, especially with its um, platform and its <sighs> copyright stuff that I'm starting to kind of worry about. So I've decided to go on Twitch instead, which has a better feel to it. So to anyone who does want to see me live stream on my Twitch, you can go check out the link in the description below or whatever. Go check it out. That's what I'll be live streaming from now on. But yeah, it was fun to live stream again because it was very it's very different from 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 when I am recording Super Mario Maker. It's super different and I would kind of like to do that more, but it won't be Super Mario Maker content for the most part. It's going to be other games I want to play. It's going to be Overwatch. It's going to... I'll probably do Super Mario Maker here and there, but it won't be the main thing that I live stream, to be honest. Anyway, I am derailing a lot. The point is, 2017 was full of depressing stuff for a lot of people, it seems. At least that's what I'm seeing on the internet. But honestly, there's one very important lesson that I've learned this year too, which is what made this year the best year for me. It's how I grew personally from all the bad things that, I've, that are happening or did happen. No matter what, there's something to enjoy in life. There always is. Whether it's the little joys you find out of the little things you do, whether it's from all the jokes you see on the internet, whether it's from your friends or from your family, there's always something to enjoy and there's always something to learn from the bad things and it makes you a better person the next day. Even if those bad things are your own mistake, if you're willing to admit that they are your own mistakes, then you can learn from them and you can get better. You can become a better person tomorrow. That is the single most important thing I learned this year. And boy, am I glad to have learned that. I feel like I've changed a lot over the course of this year. And I don't know, I have no idea if it shows in my videos, but I feel like I've grown a lot this year, which kind of makes me look forward to 2017 because that means I can only grow faster, if that makes any sense. And honestly, I have very high hopes for this YouTube channel, for Channel Absolute Zero, for us. I don't know if someday I'll be as big as anyone who has over a million subscribers. I know there's a lot of you who think I deserve a million subscribers, but a million subscribers is a hell of a number. It's a hell of a number. There are six zeros in that number. I would need six of me to make a 1 million subscriber channel. But I'm not giving up. Of course I'm not. I have very high hopes for this channel. I'm sure we're going to at some point reach 100,000 subscribers. If we even reach that number, I will be super happy. Like, there is there's nothing that would make me happier than that right now, I would think. And by 100,000 subscribers, I obviously mean that 100,000 of you are enjoying my videos. That is the most important part. I don't want 85,000 random people subscribing to my channel. That's going to mean nothing to me. What truly makes me happy is going through all the videos, seeing how many of you like the video to, to say that you want to see more and then seeing this interaction I start having with these, with all of you. Like already I've met JL Nightmare. Like we've met through my Super Mario Maker content. He now has his own YouTube channel. He has over 500 subscribers and I am now interacting with this person indirectly but all the time because he always has the world records on all of the Super Mario Maker levels I play. Anyway, the point is I'm interacting with this guy a lot more now on our Twitters and that's amazing. I'm meeting people outside of like the province. I'm meeting, I went to Collingwood, Ontario, eight hours from where I live to do a collab with a guy that I did a collab of Mega Man X3 with last year. That's crazy! Me meeting people? Like, wow, at the beginning of this year, I would have been like, are you out of your mind? Me meeting people? Like, that doesn't happen. I'm like the shyest person in the world. Like, honestly, if I saw you in the street somewhere in Montreal and you were like, hey, you're that guy from Channel Absolute Zero. You're Zero, right? And I'll just be like, yeah? Anyway, I'm getting way off topic. Uh, needless to say, all I want to say is there's there's guaranteed something good that happened to you in 2016. There's guaranteed some good things, whether it was just, you know, something funny, something happy, something that helped you grow as a person. It doesn't matter. There was something good in 2016 and I guarantee it no matter what 
2017 is going to be better. It's going to be even better. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to wish all of you a happy new year. It is happening pretty much as this video comes out. Like, I'll release it like half an hour earlier, whatever. But like, all of you will get to see this. And... I don't know. I, I guess I'm just... I'm happy. I'm feeling happy. I've said this before in a previous Zero Motivation. You can have all the New Year resolutions you want. Whether it's to lose weight, which I definitely should. <laughs> whether it's to meet more people. Whether it's to do better in school. Whether it's to find a job or get a better job or that promotion you wanted. Whatever it is. And it's okay if you have those resolutions because you want to make yourself a better person. But honestly, every year... I've decided that I only have one resolution in the end, and it's the one that matters the most. To be happy. Because that's, really, that's all that really matters, right? To be happy. You may not know exactly how to do it right away, but if you make that your goal, you'll find a way. You'll find what makes you happy, and you will do it. And for me, that's making videos for you guys. So I guarantee you, 2017, will be filled with just as much videos as it was in 2016. So thank you guys for watching. This was a very weird vlog type of thing for New Year's. Uh, I don't know why I'm doing it with a green screen. It makes no sense, but that's all I have. Most boring background ever. I really need to do something about that. Anyway, I'm going to end it here before it gets way too long. Happy New Year again. All the best. Best wishes. All the... There's a thing in Chinese. It's like all the... Pr all Best... What is it? Like... Prosperity, health, and, uh, prosperity, health, uh, wow. Does it show how uncultured I am in my own culture? Wow, it really is that. I wish you all the best of health, wealth, and prosperity. Something like that. All those three things, basically. So for the last time, <laughs> happy new year, and enjoy yourself. Hope you're having a good time, and I'll see you in the next video. But until then, always remember to keep it absolutely cool, everyone.